This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big the, building Stanley. where he was... Today, I'm playing the Stanley Parable, but not just any Stanley Parable, the Deluxe Edition. So, I, uh, I don't have much experience with this game. Um, I think back when the original Stanley Parable came out, I watched Markiplier play it a little bit. Um, so a lot of this, I've never seen before, and the parts that I have seen, I don't really remember. So I'm looking at this game with essentially fresh eyes, and hopefully uh, we can both get a kick out of it, huh? All right, so uh, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so I think I've finally gotten it to work. Um, I've already tried this a couple of times. Um, and first off, I entered the time twice because I've had to reboot the game once. And it had like a fun little uh, description from the narrator about uh, putting in the time twice. And it was like, thank you for putting the time to fill it out twice. And then it said it would say something else if I did it a third time. So I'm waiting to see what that is. Uh, Okay, uh, let's see what time is it now. 4.24 p.m. A.M. works too. 4.24 a.m., your favorite time of the day. Yeah. How accurate is this? Does this count as like an ending? What do I... It is like in the middle accurate, right? Because it's the right time just in the in the PM instead of AM. So sort of, eh, whatever, I'll just play it. Begin the game. Credits, settings, tough tough choice. Oh, look at that, it's on the little huh. Alright, let's do this. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four. Oh no, oh no, I actually skipped it. All right, I want to restart. Give me the game, okay. Give me that cutscene again. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. It's a pretty good job. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I wish my job was like that. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up I'm from regaining his desk my senses. and st right. stepped out of his office. How do I interact with things? Oh, I see. All of his co-workers. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? 
Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. I've definitely clicked more than twenty times. <sighs> I wonder if <laughs> how many times I can click and actually get something. Hold on. Yeah, okay, maybe ask you this story. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true. Does that have to be that door? What are, what are like, Perhaps fifty. What are the odds? Will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty. <sighs> All right, all right, 50 clicks, here we go. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see no. commitment, no. a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? It's fine, 417. It's the only way. I don't know if there is a 417. 427, 428. He said 417, right? Okay, we're going down. Um, oh. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Okay, 437. Four, three, six. Four, three, seven. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, this door awesome. 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. It's the best game I've ever played. Four one five, four one five. Now back to door number four three seven. Four three seven. Got it. I, I definitely have never seen this part of the game. Um, truly is incredible though. Whoever uh, came up with it. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. Oh, this copy machine? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. 417? I hope this gives me like an ending. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 418, 419. How do I jump? That's, okay, that's crouch. Oh, we have to just shimmy in the right direction? Is that... Okay, hold on, let me see. Ah, controls. Okay, so there is no jump. Yes! Oh, this is great! You're really putting it all on the angle. line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's <laughs> keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. This is getting me so juiced. We've almost got it! Hey, now the hey. copy machine, do that one again! Oh my god. I'm on to something. Copy machine's back in the first room. It's invigorating. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Oh, it's an achievement. Oh, wow. <laughs> That felt amazing. Click on door 435 oh, times is the achievement. Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. I should just call it a day. Only a few <laughs> An achievement was worth five little clicks. Really now? What were you thinking? I might 100% this game. That was amazing. Like, it, the amount of effort that went into that small little, uh, little Easter egg. Although I guess there was an achievement that told you to do the first five clicks. I didn't look at it though. Still very neat. Very, very, very neat. Okay, let's continue with the actual game. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, 
He entered the door on his left. Now, I remember that there's definitely like an ending that happens if you obey everything he says, and there's an ending that happens if you do nothing that he says. And I feel like maybe the nothing one is shorter. I should start with that. Or should I start with the... No, no, no. Because if I do everything he says, it's going to be the main ending, I feel like. So I'm just going to... What do you say? To the left? Or on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes. Sick. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking I wish his my room. meeting room looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Neither. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I wish I was fired years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Hmm. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Is this ending extraordinarily to put dark? To your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Take that. Good job, Stanley. It's Everyone the Sigma ending. You are very powerful. I like that. I ain't never following anyone's orders. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now I have to see what happens if I go into that door and after uh, came to a set of two open doors. This was not says. the correct way to the meeting. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not this ending seems me. to go uh, deep into the Stanley lore, which is uh. This is it, Stanley. All right, at least I think your it does. Chance to with, redeem uh, yourself. The redemption to arc. To put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, it's just a dark door. I, see, I don't... Mm, mm, okay, okay, let's go. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. <laughs> to reach out to her. Dear God. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What? Can I not pick up the phone? As Stanley oh. picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> no, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white. I wonder if that's actually what happens if I pick up the phone. Picking up the phone is actually we'll find out next time. incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Free will? How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not, not Stanley. Will. You're a real person. <laughs> <laughs> It's me. I can't believe I was so mistaken. 
This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Hi there. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like and uh, maybe even subscribe. Helps me out a lot and um, it's 100% free. I've never charged anyone, which is uh, pretty great. Also, my Twitch is twitch.com slash disethan. Uh, if you check me out there, it's where I record most of the footage for these videos. And it's always a really good time. And I'd love to have you there. So, yeah. See ya.